Tensions run high after Vito's attack, and the scene opens with Sonny telling Michael that Salazzo wants to meet with him specifically for a proposition. Of course, Salazzo wants to avoid a meet with Sonny. Tom is actively working to try to talk down Sonny from eliminate Salazzo. Some of the other families won't sit still for all-out war, your father wouldn't want to hear this, this is business, it's not personal Sonny, even attacking your father was business. Sonny finally agrees. All right. We'll wait. Especially after Tom says McCluskey, the police captain, is Salazzo's bodyguard, and that eliminate him is an impossibility, that the family would be outcasts. Even the old man's political protection would run for cover. These are all valid points. Tom is the even, cool-headed thinker. Michael then offers up not to wait, and that he'll carry out the operation himself, ultimately convincing everyone that it has to be done. Until this point, Michael has not been part of the family business, never himself intended to be a part of it, and was not intended by his family to go into. While Michael is considered a war hero due to being wounded, there's no indication that Michael has ever done something like this, in cold blood, so this could be his first time. So the following scene starts with Michael being picked up, and Salazzo opens saying he wants to, straighten everything out, and, it shouldn't have happened. Michael responds, we'll straighten everything out tonight, I don't want my father bothered anymore. Salazzo swears on his children he won't be. Now, of course, Michael still intends to carry out the operation at this point, but Salazzo does come out of the gate strong, by swearing on his children regarding Vito's safety. Now what's interesting is the conversation once they are in the restaurant. Salazzo again opens with an, I'm sorry, insisting it was just business, that it wasn't personal, and how he wants to work through things. Michael, then, says quite seriously, what I want, what is most important to me, is that I have a guarantee. No more attempts on my father's life. Michael saying this is almost bizarre. You have Salazzo pleading with Michael to try to keep the peace and move forward, more to try to calm down Sonny too. Michael could have just been stone face about it or said I'll see what I can do and then gone through with the deed as intended. So why would Michael ask for the guarantee? Because he was listening to Tom's convincing dialogue in the previous scene that the peace be kept until a better option opens itself up. Michael is hesitating at the storm that will occur as a result of this and what that means for himself and his family. Tom is like a brother to them and the most well-respected aside from the Don. Him, trying to back Sonny off from eliminate Salazzo, is with some solid rationale. If Salazzo had repeated once again, swearing on his children, insisting it would never happen, that Michael would have made the decision to not move forward with the plan, that he would have pursued the Tom Hagen route to short-term peace. The whole point of the attack was due to Vito being difficult about taking business in a particular direction. Of course a peaceful middle ground could be reached. Look at Michael's face when he asks for the guarantee of safety. Michael is being really serious in his request. But what Salazzo says triggers Michael and seals his own fate. What guarantees could I give you Mike? I am the hunted one. I missed my chance. You think too much of me. I'm not that clever. All I want is a truce. What a slap in the face to Michael. From apologizing, to swearing on his children, to no more harm to his father, to wanting to move forward, to now suddenly saying he can't guarantee his father's safety, and to add insult to injury, insisting that he is now the victim because he didn't properly carry out the attack on his father. Look at the fire in Michael's eyes when he hears this answer. Any chance of Salazzo salvation is now gone. And Michael's next line, trying his hardest to push away the anger, is I have to go to the bathroom.